now hear what Jesus says. And he's referring, he says, this is Matthew 24, immediately after the distress of those days. So he's talked about this great tribulation period that started after the fall of the temple. And then he says, immediately after that distress, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from the sky and the heavenly bodies will be shaken. He says this basically the same thing in Mark 13. And Peter in Acts chapter 2 repeats the prophecy of Joel. And so this sun dark day, this day of the Lord, is mentioned throughout both the Old and the New Testaments. It is specifically identified as the day of the Lord, the day when God visits his wrath upon the earth. Now, interesting with what we know now, all right, that everyone on the planet will be aware of that day. If you are having a bright, sunny day and Jesus comes back, the sun will go dark. If you have a nice moonlit night and Jesus comes back, the moon will turn blood red. If you have a cloudy day, every cloud will flee from the sky. And if you have a, a new moon and it's just stars, every star will fall from the sky. So no matter where you are on the planet, you will be aware that this day is happening. 